so cute. <laughs> I love that intro. Yeah. Thanks, baby bro, for the intro music. AC Soul on IG. He's got beats for sale, y'all. And they're popping. Hey. All right. Welcome to another edition of Afterthoughts, 90 Day Fiance, WTF Moments. I'm Casey Diva. <laughs> That's hey, this way. That's Anthony Adams. Look at him. Look how debonair he is. All right. We are here, and we are going to talk about 90 Day Fiance. Mm-hmm. Now, if you've been keeping up, you know, it's the second week of 90 Day Fiance, mm-hmm. season nine. Right. We just wrapped up 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days, which was kind of a snoozer, but I think this one might have, might be a little better. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. Yeah, I couldn't hold snoozer. it. I couldn't hold oh, it. Oh, my God. Just didn't even talking about it, man. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, no, this season I think is going to be pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we got some crazy uh, in- antics going on with all the different couples. and mm-hmm. We met most of the couples. We've got two more to see next week, which I'm looking mm-hmm. forward to. Mm-hmm. Um, let's dive on in. All right. Let's just yeah. dive on into Let's go. Uh, let's start with Emily and Kobe. So, right. Emily and Kobe. Mm-hmm. Um, Emily and Kobe. Uh, Kobe, uh, Emily met Kobe in China. When she was studying abroad mm-hmm. um, a couple of years ago, and uh, Kobe uh, happened, as, as she put it, happened to be the only black man in China, as far as she was concerned, <laughs> at least what she saw. And mm-hmm. he was a tour model. <laughs> okay. So I guess she fell for you know the underwear modeling. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, they hooked up. She got pregnant. Mm-hmm. They have a son now. It's been two years since he's seen a son. And he's coming to the States. Um, we see that he just arrived. Mm-hmm. Emily's very excited because uh, she's got a big surprise planned. And, um, you know, they've been apart for a while. And so mm-hmm. she went one on one time. They, they're going to be staying with her parents. You know, so we met her family last week, which I kind of joked and said, right. oh, I'm surprised that movie get out. But. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see how this plays out. Mm-hmm. But she was some, some alone time, you know, some adult time. So she got them a hotel room. She's a little nervous to tell him because she's not sure how he's going to feel about it. But we saw in next week's preview. Mm, don't think he's terrible about it. He's excited. He wants to see his son. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I mean, we're I don't know, as, we, as an adult, okay, as adults, I mean, I kind of see where I feel her. She, now keep in mind, she's been with the baby all this time, right? Mm-hmm. So her man's there. She wants some, you know, some, uh, some sexy time, you know. Yeah. And, and you, they can't do that living with the parents, you know. <laughs> nope. Respectful. <laughs> nope. Sure can't. Sure so, can't. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how he mm-hmm. feels about it. Yeah, I mean, it's just one I, night. I mean, it's one night, right? It's just one night. I mean, yeah, it's not. I mean, I can understand the anxiousness, wanting to see your your, your child and everything. Yeah. but you know, hey, listen, you had a long flight, and she 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 just want to make you feel welcomed, and you know, hey, you can't be mad at her for wanting to make you feel welcomed. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see how Emily and Kobe uh, how they make out. Uh, mm-hmm. we've got Cara and Guillermo. You want to talk oh. about? Them? Oh, yes. So, uh, Dominican Republic is uh, where Guillermo is. And uh, she, uh, and Cara, uh, as we know, has, uh, you know, but she's she's a jack of all trades when it comes to work. She's done a little bit of everything. And uh, he's down there with an expired passport. So they're going, they're coming here to America on a wing and a prayer. Literally. <laughs> literally. literally. And uh, they get on the plane, they leave, the, which, okay. I was surprised because, listen, you and I both travel internationally. Mm -hmm. And when you're going somewhere, when you're coming back, they ask to see your passport. Now, I've been been to Dominican Republic. They had to stamp my passport in order for me to even come back to the U.S. So I'm like, how did he work that out? Yeah, they kind of, yeah, they kind of glazed over that. I'm not sure how that that. Yeah, and then, so they get to the U.S. and uh, they they get into customs and he's taken into a room, and you and I'm thinking it says it, it, and I'm thinking uh oh they they about to say he's going back on the plane back to the mm. and I guess because of the fact that he's originally from Venezuela right 
custom guy was Venezuelan. He was like, oh, you're Venezuelan? Oh, my bad, man. You're good. You're, you're good to go. Mm-hmm. And then we see them walking out hand in hand, laughing and smiling. And they just happy as all outdoors to be here in America. So, well, yeah. We'll see how long that happiness lasts. There's a little bit of an age difference. Six years. She's yeah. older. And, and in his in his country, she's known as a, a spanky panky. <laughs> which, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I giggle every time I say it. Um, spanky panky, which I guess the uh, over in the DR is a, a term for a white woman, older white woman mm-hmm. that gets a younger Dominican Republican guy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. that sounds so, like that sounds like something complete. <laughs> and I is, know, right? I, it I, does yeah. not match up. The, when, the, when, the, he first, when he first said it, I was like, "Where are they going with this right now?" Like, I, I was <laughs> expecting that, but um. Okay. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about uh, oh, Yvette and Muhammad. Ah, yes, yeah. So Yvette Muhammad, Yvette, um, um, Native American woman, uh, very spiritual. You know, to do yoga, uh, wellness. You know mm-hmm. that whole thing. Um, she has a son who mm-hmm. uh, I believe is seven or eight. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's he suffers from autism and um, Down syndrome. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, as well, um, right. so uh, he suffers from those two things. Um, she, <laughs> can you, can you hear that? No, come on, yep, I can hear it. you. Know, it's like we, we good. Come on, oh, and they keep talking. Let me. Well, she, so so she is uh, Native American. She's from Albuquerque. He is from Egypt. Now, of course, as Diva was saying, she does have a son who is. Uh, I believe he's autistic and he has Down oh, syndrome. You're good. Oh my gosh, this you're that, good. <clears throat> that was <clears throat> my my phone is going off too. Don't don't feel bad. Um, <laughs> but anyway, continue. Yeah, so um, you know, and she she's and first of all, round of applause to her for 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 doing doing that for having having a career and have find balance to being able to yes. take care of her son. Yeah, you know, pretty much full time. Now, grant now, granted, the, the son's father is in the picture. You know, she yeah, came over yeah. there, um, yeah. and so now she's met this Muhammad guy. I think there's what like a twenty year age difference. Yeah, she's he's about half her age. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. about half her age, and, and good looking guy. I mean, when I saw him with his shirt off, I put the pizza down. And I was eating, and started doing some sit ups and some push ups. So thank you, Muhammad, for that. Trying to get those abs you know, tight. Trying to get them abs <laughs> tight and everything. Yeah, you know. Trying to lose this COVID weight. Um, but oh, you look fine, darling. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so so anyway, so she goes with meets up with her friends, and uh, so she so she's gone over to Egypt where he's from, met up with him, mm-hmm. they hit it off. So now he's coming here to the States, and mm-hmm. uh her friends, of course, we see this in pretty much it's it's part of the formula of 90 day, if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, where there's the friends that are concerned about right. uh, the person that you're bringing over, you know, they want to have, mm-hmm. they, make sure they want to have your best interest. They're talking about, you right. know, what you're going to do when he gets out here. And, you know, and they're like, well, hey, if we weren't friends, you know, we wouldn't be saying this to you. So, um, yeah, she's just like, look, let me just be happy. Let me have my happiness and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, let her, I feel like she, let, let her live. Let her live. Yeah, let her have her have her time. And then on top of that, um, she was so also one thing we saw is in his culture, women are more conservative, they're more mm-hmm. dressed down. She was going now, mind you, she lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It gets hot down there. Right. It's she hot. She is cleaning out her closet. She's getting rid of her little shorty shorts, her halter tops, halter tops, all tops, that. Crop tops. Crop tops. Now, now here's the interesting thing though. Her photo that he found attractive was a picture of her in a bikini. Mm-hmm. And but on the flip side of that coin, he's upset about that photo because she's right. in a bikini in public. But when you see the photo, it's not a provocative photo. It's her jumping off a cliff and diving into the water on vacation. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. In that in that culture, like they believe women should be covered up and you know, hair and all that, you know. Um, yeah. so you know, I mean, yeah, it is kind of ironic, right? Because she's in a two piece and she's diving off a cliff, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, I'm sorry, you can't like my picture and then criticize it. Uh, I mean, he's about I'm not to feeling be- that. Yeah, Ooh, so, 
<laughs> he might be in a culture shock when he get out here. Yeah, he's gonna be in culture shock because, especially like you said, where they are in Albuquerque. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a whole lot of skin showing. Oh. You know, it's hot. You know, yeah. so people are gonna be all covered up. So, uh, mm-hmm. but I, you know, I say let the woman live, let her have fun. Yes, of course. As a, as her friend said, we wouldn't be friends if we didn't tell you the truth. They're concerned, you know, because she's, you know, she spends all this money getting a visa and this and that. And so I think this is kind of like, OK, have your fun, but don't take this guy super seriously. Like he's right. too young. And unfortunately, we've seen kind of a repeat thing on 90 Day Fiance, right? <laughs> Older woman, yep. young guy. I mean, there was Molly. I think she, her guy's from DR, right? <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> remember a few seasons back and, yeah. and he was just. Horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so Stacy and Dart. Stacy and oh damn, Stacy and Darcy. They always mm-hmm. like younger men, and mm-hmm. and poor Darcy. You know, she's still trying to get it right. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, we we haven't seen these these older younger relationships really do well in the past. So true. I guess we'll have to see. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's move it on. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Oh, wait, it's Bilal, Bilal and Shaida. Oh, God. Bilal and Shaida. Uh, Bilal, who is is uh, priding himself on a, this big prank, as he calls it. I call it pure deception. So, Bilal, as we I saw, call it a lie. <laughs> a lie. Yeah. Um, we saw the first episode. He's, he's well off. He's in a real estate that's doing quite well for himself. Has a nice, big, beautiful house, nice car. Mm-hmm. Dresses, you know, designer, mm-hmm. you know, uh, designer luggage, all this stuff. Um, and, you know, he's fearful that the woman that he's in love with, Shaida, mm-hmm. is asking him for his money. So what he decides to do mm-hmm. is get a van, as she calls it, a Sanford and Son. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And goes to pick her up from the airport. Mm-hmm. And watching in the, in the parking lot, you know, she gets excited. And, you know, about the Chevy Malibu that she thought was his. <laughs> so we know she's not a gold digger because you're not going to get that excited over Chevy Malibu, right? Um, right. They get in the van. She's clearly uncomfortable. She's like, okay, this reminds me of Sanford. It's dirty. There's tools in the back where I put my stuff. Then they get to his house. And as we saw, they didn't go to his house, the nice house we saw last week. They went to his childhood home. Which on the outside doesn't look so bad, but you get inside mm. and it, it, no one's lived there for twenty something years. They haven't renovated or anything. Ceilings are caving in, furniture's mm-hmm. old. And Anthony, what did you point out earlier? The house had a damn tube TV in it. Okay, a tube TV for Gen Z um, watching out there. Yes, there wasn't always flat screens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that little square box that you saw sitting on the table. That's a TV. Yes. Okay? Yes. And here's, here's the kicker. Listen, th- that TV, the type of TV, you need a converter box and, and rabbit ears just for that thing to even get local channels. <laughs> With foil in them, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I had one of those when I got my when I when I first got my place. Because like I didn't have cable. So yeah, trust me, you got just to get local channels. So it's right. like and then see like you said, ceilings caving in. This man ain't called HGTV just to come do a touch up, okay? That's what it is. Man, I mean, called... but you know, I don't like the whole thing. I don't no, like, the, I don't I don't like either. the deception. I don't like the testing to see how she's going to react. And then it's like she mm-hmm. reacts because she's like, wait, I'm leaving my home, my family, my friends, mm-hmm. the comfort of my, my, where I was in my, in my country. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting in the living room, like, afraid the ceiling's going to cave in at any moment. Like, you know. Did she uh, ask if there were rats in the ceiling? She she's like, are there rats? And then, and then uh, rats. And then she also said, uh, he said, well, I'm gonna order some food. She said, can you afford it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hilarious! I almost fell off the couch. And she said, that. I was. <laughs> but you know, well, he's putting on this facade like he's yeah. broke. So. And then, you know, I don't, I don't like it. I like, and then he starts this line of questioning. So, I mean, are you the type that's willing to work with me and build? And, you know, then don't. That's immature to me. I think the whole thing is immature. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Don't like it at all. Yeah, I mean, I don't get. I like I said, I don't get the gold digger vibes from her at all. The the no. woman got excited for a damn Chevy Malibu. Exactly. He's not a gold digger. 
Okay. Yeah. I, she I, I, a I, Chevy anymore. Okay. She's excited yeah. for that. Come on. She ain't no gold digger, man. Come on. You, yeah. He, yeah. He's wrong for that. He's wrong. And it's going to be real interesting. I cannot wait until next week to see once he reveals. I don't know. And do you get the feeling that she's kind of catching on? Because she, she mentioned, she's like, you know, I saw you had Louis Vuitton luggage and the way you dress in our video chats. And, mm -hmm. you know, she hasn't seen the house because every time she asks the house car, he says no. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm almost wondering if, if in the back of her mind, she's like, I think he's I think he's playing me right now. You think so? Now that you bring it to my attention, that is true. But she did say something. Mm -hmm. She said, you know what? If I'll help out. She goes, if we got to sell a couple of them suits just to make this thing she work. She sure did. It, so. Yeah. She's like, I'm yeah. I'm here. I'm I will mm -hmm. make it work. You know. Mm -hmm. So all right. Well, we'll yeah. we'll see how that definitely, goes. Definitely, yeah, definitely the hustler vibes I get from her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she's not afraid to roll up her sleeves and you know, mm -hmm. but I just don't like it. I don't like what he's doing. I I don't like that at all. One hundred percent. Uh all right, last but certainly not least. Mm -hmm. Uh Jabri and Miona. Jabri and Miona. Jabri's in South Dakota. Um, I didn't know there were any black people in South Dakota, honestly. Um, but, you know, I, they, apparently there are, because Jabri is there. And right now he's living with his parents. He's a, he's a musician. Uh, you know, he claims that his band, uh, kind of a unique, what was it, Afro-punk or something? I can't remember. Afro-techno-space-punk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I've never heard of before. Mm -hmm. Um. Afro techno space punk, mm -hmm. so in his in his words, very popular. Um, and COVID hit, so they weren't able to do shows, you know, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, so he had to move back in with his folks, which you know, COVID a lot of you know hit a lot of people hard. I mean, that's mm -hmm. nothing to be ashamed of, you know, uh, something none of us were expecting. Mm -hmm. But he's back with his parents. Mm -hmm. His mom isn't too thrilled about bringing this this strange woman into the house. Nope. Um, and you know, we're already seeing some signs. Um, I'll let you finish. Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, as we recap last week, she is talking about she wants to go to LA, and she mm -hmm. said to him, You better take me to LA where this is over. So that tells you right there what kind of you know, what, what kind of person you know he's, he's, getting, he's getting involved with yeah it. she just wants to get to the u.s she wants to get to the u.s she wants to go to la and find some ball player or somebody or yeah i think you i think you called it last week you said we'll see on the arm of some ball player some rapper some out rapper there or, exactly yeah. so yeah trust me as soon as she get out I there that's I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll have to see I'll, I'll reserve complete judgment until we see a little bit more from her but just from the initial vibes we saw the bff Mm -hmm. uh, who he was on the phone with and rolled through the car wash with the window. Yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah. And again, this goes back to, <laughs> this goes back to the, you know, the formula that we talked about earlier. There is always the best friend that does not like the significant other that yep. you're bringing over. Now yep. these guys apparently met when they all went on vacation to where she right. is and he felt she was bougie and he's not liking it. He's trying to get him to come back to LA and be part of the band so they can get the show mm -hmm. in and, start recording he's basically holding up the band he's like well i can't do it because she's coming into town he's like listen dude i wish you the best but i don't think this is a good idea yeah he's basically like trying to talk some sense into him like dude red flags left and right your mom and dad ain't even feeling her as it is she wants to go to la mm -hmm. he, the boy the, the, the boy blinded by love okay let's just call it like it. he blinded by love okay and mm -hmm. then goes to the airport first of all gets ready to go to the airport in a pink suit Okay, and a pink cowboy hat. What do you call it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Pink flamingo suit. Thank you. Pink flamingo suit. Okay. Shows off a pair of pink cowboy boots that he got her that I think he was more excited for her to have than she probably will be to I have. Don't see her wearing them. And then and then on top of it, talk about talk about pink was his favorite color. We couldn't tell. And then he goes to lift the box of goodies to bring her. We hear a loud pop. Now, I thought the man had let out a loud fart, but his <laughs> pants split. <laughs> he, we heard a pop. He was like, he started, he started feeling around the midsection. He's like, he's like, no, 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 no. And he split the, the man split his pants. The pants is too tight for you, bro. Okay. Right. He didn't have time to change, you know. And then, 
does the most re- now listen when i've gone to the airport i've seen people hold up signs and balloons and well flowers and flowers and all that stuff i even saw uh what's this i swear you do a dog on samoan dance when he got to america oh yeah mm-hmm. diva what this fool do he rolls out a red carpet a little mini red carpet but the highlight of that moment was the, the dude who was completely oblivious to the cameras, the red carpet, and just literally just trumped right on his little red carpet like it was a, with the luggage. <laughs> with luggage. Uh yeah, that was that oh. was that made my night. That made my oh, night. That was um, hilarious. But you know, she finally shows up and mm-hmm. they hug, they kiss, they embrace, and so on. She um, nothing like her of course, but next week we see the preview where, you know, his mom is like, "Are you gonna have a trip with me?" You know, because the mom is asking her questions and he's rolling his eyes and he's kind of ticked off and and she's kind of giving the mom a look like, "Who are you?" Mm-hmm. You know, that he asking me questions and I'm like, "Oh boy, mm-hmm. this is a situation." You know, Larissa living with the parents and it was a nightmare. You don't do that when you were guest in somebody's house. Oh, you about to be in for a rude awakening, little girl. Oh, yes, you are. First off, I'm not going to live with anybody live with their parents. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't care how bad you want to get over here to the States. It just doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Wait until they get on their feet, get their own place. You know, so mm-hmm. that's definitely going to be one to watch. Oh, uh, Next week, we'll see Ari and Benny. I'm excited to see them. Yes. Um, and there's one more couple that I'm I don't remember their, their story or don't know the story it's, yet. But anyway. Uh, the, yeah. I know. Yeah. Who is it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know that I don't I think the guy's oh. name is George, but oh. he, he lives with like his brother or something like that. But oh right, right. right. Somebody lives with his brother, the brother that drinks beer in the morning. And yeah, yeah, we saw people getting upset about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so well, I guess we'll meet them next week and we'll have more to chit chat with you about. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I am too. All right, peeps. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll be back next Monday. Be sure to tune in. And um, yeah, mm-hmm. until next week, stay safe. Later. Later. Later.